surgery, and she's been in for hours, and nobody's said anything to me, told me anything. Do they know what happened? I mean, was there another car involved, or...? Not that I know of. Was Jillian a good driver? She was the best. I, I, don't, I don't understand. She, she was taught to... Uh, to drive when uh, she was 10 from Dimitri at Basel. I mean, she never even had a, a speeding ticket, much less an accident. And you. You've known all along that Adam was Colby's father. I guess you really are more than just a pretty face, Jillian. Do you have any idea what this is going to do to Jake? Oh, that's just the beginning. Let's not forget Adam's devoted wife. What do you think Liza's going to do when she finds out that Adam's been switching his sperm with Jake's? I, I have to warn you. I have to warn you. Jillian. Could her brakes have failed? I don't know, Brooke. I mean, uh, I just had the car serviced. I just had it checked. Well, something must have made her lose control. Maybe, maybe they got into a fight in the car. She and Ryan, maybe they got distracted. You know, I know. I'm, I mean, he said that they had a very volatile relationship, so, you know, maybe. When either of them wakes up, I'm going to find out who's responsible. Hi. How's Julian? Where's Brian Weber? Is he closing? I'm sorry, I have to talk to Edmund right now. How's Jillian? Is she awake? Can I see her? No, not yet. She's just gone into recovery. Okay. Any internal injuries? Under control. You did know that she was thrown from the car? No, I didn't. There were indications of a head injury. What about her heart? When was the last EKG? We're not sure. We're checking her records now. Uh, there was an explosion in Holiday. She was in the hospital. That was a year ago. Actually, we're more concerned with her crit right now. What is that? She's lost a lot of blood. She's already had six units. What's her rhythm? She's having multifocal PVCs. We're hoping that they will subside once we up the volume. We've crossed her for another four units, so... But the arrhythmia could indicate that her mitral valve is damaged. Yes, we're aware of that. I'm sorry, did you ask David to consult on this? No. Well, could you just give us one second, please? It took six hours of surgery to stabilize her. So we're going to let her rest in recovery for a while. This is my beeper number. Should you need me, I'm on call. Thanks. Yeah. Alex. What? You can't do a wait and see. Not with this one. I think we know what we're doing, David. Can you just give it a rest, please? Um, listen, uh, do you want me to drive over to Wildwind and, and pick up Eugenia? He does know. <clears throat> I haven't had the, um, I haven't had the heart. She's been very frail since Dimitri died. So listen, when we have some good news, then, then we'll call her. Okay. Yeah. If there is any, yeah. His family can't handle another loss. You're not gonna lose Jillian. Yeah. No. You know, she was just coming into her own. Alex, any improvement? Her heart is still arrhythmic, so I've called a friend of mine in to consult. A friend? Mm, Annette Kamar, she's a thoracic surgeon. Who happens to live in Montreal. It's gonna take hours for her to get here and be brought up to speed. I've already done that by phone. Okay, well then, why don't I send my private jet? It'll make things faster. Great, thank you. I was hoping you would say that. Okay. I'll call the pilot. I'll go with you. Okay. Alex, this is a bad call. The more you wait, the more you put Jillian at risk. She's lost too much blood to undergo another surgery so soon. The anesthesiologist agrees with me, and so does Dr. Webber. Who happens to be the most conservative surgeon on stage? Well, that may well be. Arguing with me isn't going to make me change my mind. I'm sorry, David, but under these circumstances, what I say goes. Alex, 
You're fighting me on this because of a personal grudge. Do you honestly want to cost a young woman her life? No. That's your forte. Alex, my pilot's already on the way to Montreal. Oh, great. I'll call your friend the surgeon and tell her to meet him at Terminal D. Here's his name. He'll have a sign. Right on it. Edmund, I need to have a word with you. Uh, I need to go. That meeting's going to get us started. So All right. Uh, Thanks for pinch hitting, okay? Anytime. All right? All right. Keep me posted. Will do. What's on your mind, Hayward? You're Julian's closest relative. No, that would be Eugenia. Okay, fine. Eugenia's not here. Then it's up to you to override Alex's decision. Julian needs immediate surgery to repair the mitral valve. No, but Alex said... Alex what doesn't know what she's talking about. Alex is not a cardiologist. He's not a cardiovascular surgeon. Now, I have performed this procedure a hundred times, Edmund. I know exactly what needs to be done. Now, give me permission to perform this. Let me save your cousin's life.